Hey there fellows, due to a huge interest, today I've decided I will be releasing our Project X Motorsport HUD application for Acero Corsa as there was quite a few comments on YouTube, on my recent videos and a lot of questions on my Discord DMs and the server. What is this app? Where can we find it? And people were very interested. So I decided today we're going to release it publicly. So without further ado guys, keep in mind, it's still in beta version, there might be a problem or two and will be fixed in the upcoming versions. For now, let's go ahead on how to get it, how to install it, and then we'll check what this application is about in-game and we'll drive a bit with it. Now, where to find this application? First, if you're not in our Discord server, you gotta go down into the description of the video. There will be a link to join our Discord server, join up. And next, you want to scroll down and head over to downloads category. And then this channel will be open and available for people to see. It's called Project X Apps. All the information, everything will be posted right there together with this video, of course, on how to install it and so on. So you will go over there and there will be a file attached so you could download it. Now, right off the bat, once you download it right here, you need an extractor program so you can get a WinRAR or 7-zip. Then once you have these extracting programs, now you gotta locate your set of course a root folder, which there are a lot of ways. One of the quick ways, they always have my cotton manager open. You can just right click the car or the map, boom, folder, and then you just click a set of course. Another way is if you don't have content manager open yet, go to Steam, right click the game, then click browse local files, and boom, you're in the folder itself. So Without further ado, we're going to minimize this. We're going to get this up so you could see it clearly. Then we're going to open this folder right here. Now you open this archive or you extract it, whatever you prefer. Then before you drag and drop or do anything with this, first we got to navigate to a set of Corsa applications. So apps, then Python, because it's an application written in Python. It's a Python app. Then you're going to grab this folder and you're going to drag and drop it here. You want to install it manually, guys. As I explained in all my how to install videos, better safe than sorry. Never trust content manager. That's why you always have problems because you drag and drop everything there. That's an, another advice again from me. So install manually. Now, once this is done, we want to head over to content manager. Now, we want to go to settings. Then we're going to go to a set of Corsa and we're going to go to Python apps. Then you find where Project X Motorsport HUD is, a new ticket. You want to make sure it's ticked and you're done. Once we've made ourselves into the game, now what we have to do is move our mouse to the side, pop the sidebar, click on all apps, and we're going to type project. Then our application is going to appear. We're going to click on this. Now, let me brief every single thing about here. Well, what is it on the application? And I know before I start, you guys will be asking, hey, can I remove the things that I am not interested in? Of course you can, and I'll get into this. So let's break what is what very quickly, then we're going to go one by one. This is a telemetry. This is a graph that's going to show all the inputs, force feedback, clutch, brake. You could see right here, you know, all the stuff I'm going to show in a moment. This is the steering degrees. So when you turn your wheel, it's going to show up in the game. Then this logo actually here is... Also, a button when you click it, it's gonna pop the settings menu, which we're gonna go in a moment. This right here, all the inputs that you have pretty much the clutch, the brake. Sorry, I can press it, I'm on the side of the desk, can press it fully, then the tall. Then we have the handbrake, and then we have the force feedback, which obviously I am not driving, there's no forces at the moment. And this is the turbo. Another important thing that you guys need to know about these zeros is that these are actually percentages for the specific input that we're applying. Either it be the clutch, we could see 50%, or the brake, 29, like, or the throttle. Now, whatever we used to track long ago on just an eyesight, and we could be wrong with very big major, like 5, 10%, because we're just judging on an eyesight. You could see, I could call this 30%. In fact, it was 36 and 37 we could never know with absolute certainty how much we've pressed or basically gave from a specific input. Well, now we do with this application and I haven't seen any other application providing percentages so we could track our accuracy and also give ourselves great feedback to see how much percentage or what is the range, for example, of like troll that we use or how much break did we use? Did we use way too much percentage on the same corner than we did before? And so on. This is just an amazing tool, not only to track what my clients are doing, 
but also for myself and any other driver to check his inputs and uh, track them with absolute certainty and accuracy. Then what we have here, these are obviously the, it shows the RPMs, what gear we are in. For example, I can put first, can put second, obviously it's going to show up. We have kilometers or I also have thought about this. We can swap it to miles. In case you use miles, you could use mile instead of kilometers. Then we have the tires and the tire here is separate in three pieces. So outside edges and basically the middle patch. So you could track whatever part of the tire is heating up. Then you have obviously the temperature and the PSI and of course what type of tires you're using. Now, without further ado, let's go into the settings and explain every single thing a bit more in detail one by one without obviously wasting too much information. So first, I've thought about everything. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will want to remove something from here, like, you know, trim it a bit. So if you don't like the graph, you could cut completely the graph off. You have buttons for everything. So you want the graph? Okay. But you want the graph to only show you your troll. So you could track your control, right? Okay. You have your troll. You could check your telemetry. You could see how well is your, for example, modulation, whatever your inputs. If you don't like the brake, you can remove the brake. If you don't like the clutch, you can remove the clutch, add it back. You could remove the handbrake or uh, pretty much, you know, add it back. So if it's on white, it's turned off. In case you screw up something and you're like, oh my God, what happened? We also have a reset button in case you get in trouble. You can also adjust the opacity. You could, you know, make it fully darkened. Or I personally prefer to have it on 50. It doesn't attract the eye. Very nice. And you could also distinguish which is the part of the app. Another thing, again, you can open the settings on logo click. You could disable this. So whenever you click the logo, it's not going to pop this cut settings, but I really love this. So it's a very quick access. And you also can change to miles per hour instead of kilometers. So then what you can adjust on this right side, what you can do guys is you can remove the clutch. You can move the brake, the throttle, the handbrake, the force feedback, the turbo. And then you can also remove the gears and if you want even the tires. So whatever you want, you can absolutely customize about this application. I've thought about every possible single thing. The reason why this app is free is because we're making what I want to give you out to you guys is we're building everything for the community. We want to help and provide things for you so you can use it and you can enjoy it. And it's nice and easy and it's thought about from drivers for drivers. So you guys can use it on this to help enhance your performance. The main reason behind this application, guys, is that I wanted to use it for coaching. There's no other application out there that has option to track the steering degrees. This helps me tremendously. I have the telemetry, I have tracking the degrees. I have everything I need to know literally from this application, all the information. So with me breaking down everything right here, guys, now it's time to jump into a little bit of driving, show you how this application works and you see for yourself. All right, guys, now it's time for the final showcase of the application. So we're going to see it in action. I'm gonna take the Kuno C30 for a spin. And regarding the graph, you could see right off the bat, we're gonna put first gear and everything's starting to move. You could see the clutch, you could see the brake, the gas. You could also see the white, which is the FFB. Since we're driving, we're getting some FFB now. Don't expect the yellow line to go anywhere. That's the turbo and this car does not have turbo. So you could also see the steering degrees and you could see the percentages on the pedals, how much I'm applying. Don't mind the graphics. Again, I put everything on low so I can record and uh, even with the lowest graphics I'm lagging, but I'll survive it for a lap or two. You know, we're just gonna send the car a bit, see all the information. You could see also my inputs. So you could see exactly what information you're getting from like driving yourself or watching me drive now. And you could guess for yourself what I'm doing, how much percentages I'm doing, like what modulation I'm doing. You could also see on the graph what's happening and hopefully this is very beneficial for you guys so you could clearly see on the graph i'm trying to look while i'm driving but i'm getting distracted you could see here on the graph guys the modulations that i'm doing literally everything we're gonna build up some speed we're gonna put third 
Hopefully the car is not gonna die, a bit of brake to pass through here, extends without going inside. We're running very big angle. Now I'm gonna send it into a very big angle or reverse. Okay, we did reverse, but I wanted you guys to see uh, exactly how much FFB we're getting. Now I'm gonna do handbrake so you could also see the inputs there on the graph. I'm gonna do a lot of clutch kicks so you could see that's also visible. Then I'm gonna clutch kick, I'm gonna handbrake. You could see everything is shown, guys. I'm gonna do a bit of left foot brake so we could stay close to the wall. And then we're pretty much finishing this figure eight and then you're back to the big layout so pretty much i think that's perfectly everything you need to know guys you saw like the you could see the ffb all the information from the 360 we did from the big uh donut like when we go into the spiral and then we go to the tightest donut then we escape then we went into a reverse entry and you could see all the inputs all the information is directly there and you can get yourself the best feedback you could go back to the replay you could check what exactly you did wrong or like maybe where you messed up in a specific corner if you're racing if you're drifting it doesn't matter now something very important that i want to explain guys regarding watching ak spectating other drivers in game online or in replays why the application would show higher inputs than normal like in here you could see in one of my replays of coaching sessions i'm spectating my client you could see my client is going way beyond 450 degrees sometimes why this is happening is i will explain it as simple as possible because we could go very complicated very fast now Cerro Corsa is based on 900 degrees and most of the cars in the game are basically on 900 degrees of rotation so the reason why this is happening that when you spectate other people either in replays or online it the application can show more than 450 degrees is because it has no direct access to their equipment aka driver software that being steering wheel their pedals handbrake shifter you name it well why is it accurate for you is because it has access to your sim rig basically to all of your equipment the steering wheel on the pedals and the so on and this is why when you spectate somebody else or watch the replays of them the application doesn't have direct access to their equipment therefore it doesn't have access to their real-time data that the game is providing instead what the application will rely on is the recorded movements that show all the steering input which can lead to potentially higher values in the raw data. That's the simplest I can explain it, guys. Otherwise, we'll go very, very complicated. And finally, guys, I want to address the few bugs or problems that we had, due to which, of course, we didn't release the application earlier. But since you guys have a really high interest in the app, we're going to release it. This is not a major pain in the butt, as said. So the problems are in the replays. When you go to the replays, the clutch pedal input is not registered and also the clutch is not shown in the graph. This is the only problem that we had yet. And uh, as our friend Stasco was building this application, coding it, Acero Corsa just sends out zero. It does not register the code on the input. You could see here I'm clutching. This is the same replay that you saw from earlier of the lap that i did to showcase you the application however these are the problems so if anybody is interested to help and uh, finds a solution we will be very happy and will definitely reward you if we haven't found the fix ourselves yet but for now we decided to release the application publicly i hope you like it i hope it boosts your performance it definitely did for my clients uh, for now i want to thank stasco deeply for coding and making this app for us appreciate you brother much love huge respect and for now guys wish you all the best and we'll see you in the next video